what's up guys is Austin here and welcome back to another St. Louis Cardinals baseball video so last night July 28th 2018 the Cardinals and the Yankees made a trade it happened at like 10 p.m. and I, I I just you know I decided I would do the video the next day so it is currently July 29th 2018 the Cardinals and the Yankees did make a trade the Yankees have acquired Luke Voigt and international signing bonus pool money from the Cardinals for relievers Chase and Shreve and Giovanni Gallegos or Gallegos, I think it's Gallegos. Not sure how to pronounce that, but um, yeah. So the Yankees, uh, two relievers that were on their 40-man roster, the Cardinals acquire and the Yankees acquire Luke Voigt, who hasn't played too much in his career so far. He is 27. He's a first baseman. Doesn't really have room with the Cardinals, with Carpenter and Martinez, and we have a lot of guys who can play first base. It's not a position of need. Um, so here, here uh, we're going to go to Luke Voigt for a second. So in his short career with the Cardinals, he has 125 at-bats, 20 runs, 30 hits, 5 homers, 21 RBIs, and a career 240 average. This year he hasn't done really anything. Um, in the minor leagues, he did have like a 300 average between double-A and triple-A. So Luke Voigt, well, he'll be a nice addition for the Yankees. He's probably going to go to their triple-A team. Uh, the, the sad part is about Voigt, he is from St. Louis, so we are losing to St. Louisan, but yeah, Luke Voigt, man, great player. I think the Yankees will enjoy him if he gets the call. I think he's got a better shot there than here, but he is getting blocked by Greg Bird, potentially Tyler Austin, but they can DH him. He can play left field if needed. He has played there a few times this year, I believe. The Cardinals tested him out there, so... So not a nice addition for the Yankees. Also, they got bonus pool money, uh, international bonus pool money. Um, the Cardinals didn't have a lot of that because uh, the whole H Houston Astros hacking scandal. The most thing is spent on an international player is 300000 So they added some of that in to get two relievers, uh, Shreve and Gallegos. So this is an interesting trade. I think it could be a good trade all around. Not a big trade by any means, though. It's not a blockbuster. But Chase and Shreve. Uh, who pitched for the Yankees this year. Well, here's the thing about Shreve. His numbers are not very promising. The one thing that really stands out to me from Shreve is the 46 strikeouts to his 38 innings pitch. So, he is striking out an average of a guy in innings. So, that's pretty good. He's a left-handed reliever. He will join the club. Uh, the Cardinals have not made a move yet. They have about 12 hours till game time. So, um, whether they will... Um, you know, maybe they'll make a trade by then, a Bud Norris trade. They could DFA somebody, or they could send a guy like Gomber or Tyler Webb, who was recently called up down. They're left-handed relievers. My only issue with Shreve is really his that he's got no options, so you cannot send him down. You either have to trade him or DFA him, and, that's, and the Yankees are probably about to DFA him. They needed to add a roster spot for J-Hap, and that's what they did. They traded Shreve. Um... And yeah, I mean, Shreve, Shreve's got decent career stats. You look at his career stats, he's got a good record. You know, he's a reliever, though. His ERA is a little under four, not horrible. He's pitching in 195 games, two saves, 187 innings, and he's got 216 strikeouts. So clearly the guy can strike some guys out. His whip is not great, but it's not bad either. Uh, a career 1.36 and a 1.50 this year. So not, you know, his control isn't really an issue, but... It's not perfect either. So, yeah, I mean, Shreve is, he, he's good. I, I think last year he actually had a really good year. Um, let's see here. Yeah, last year was not bad at all in 2017. 3.77 ERA, not amazing, but, you know, opponents are only hitting 205 against him. Uh, like, so this year is 262. Lefties are hitting over 600 against them this year. So he's definitely struggling, uh, for sure. I mean, look at this too. You know, let innings pitched in last season. He's given up more hits, more runs, one less earned run, same amount of home runs. You know, so he, you know, he's having a down year. That's for sure. Um, but Chase and Shreve, I do think a change of scenery can help him out. Obviously, pitching in Yankee Stadium and that division in general with the Red Sox and. Oriole Stadium, the balls fly, and, you know, he's going to struggle a little more. And I, I do think coming here will help him out. And I think he could be a solid lefty out of the pen. He's experienced. 
And, uh, yeah, I really, I do like Chase and Shreven. Uh, they also added Gallegos, who I don't have too much on. Uh, he's going to start the year, I, or start uh, his Cardinals career, I think, in Memphis. Let's see, where is Gallegos at? Uh, Hudson, let's see. Oh, we have so many guys with G's. It goes alphabetical order. There he is. Giovanni Gallegos. Uh, he's a 27, or 26-year-old reliever who will be 27 soon I believe within the next month uh, yes he'll be 17 or 27 August uh, 14th so he hasn't had a long career these are his career stats 4.75 array 20 games one save which I think was this season yeah it was this oh yeah this is right there this season 30 and a third innings pitched and 32 strikeouts so he also seems to average about a strikeout in an inning. So these guys are definitely some strikeout relievers. We don't really have any of those on the team, so that could be nice. Uh, Gallegos does have options. Like I mentioned, he's going to AAA. So, yeah, re-signed to minors. You know, so, I mean, two solid, decent relievers that could help this team out. Once again, change of scenery could always help relievers especially. You know, if a reliever is not locked in on one team and they go to another team, they can be locked in. And that could be the reversal as well. Um, Chase and Shreve was emotional about getting traded to the Yanks. Uh, I'm, Luke Voigt is from here, so from St. Louis. I'm sure he was, you know, I'm sure he wasn't pleased to hear he was traded either. But I think it was a solid trade for both teams. I think it will be a win-win unless one of these three players involved ends up being a stud. I doubt it. I don't think Voigt's really going to be anything huge, and I don't think either of these relievers will. I think Shreve is the biggest piece, even though Yankees were not Yankees fans were not the biggest fan of him. But yet again, they don't really need him. Uh, the last thing is, these two relievers are controllable for at least a couple years. Shreve's got uh, control through at least 2020. Gallegos a year or two more than that, uh, and Luke Voigt he had one up player option left. So I don't know. I think it was a good trade. I don't mind it as a Cardinal fan. It's nothing huge uh, i do want them to do something else obviously i don't want them to stop here they've made two minor trades uh, i do think bud norris is a possible guy who could leave but yeah uh, revamp the bullpen add some young guys in internally and now you add a couple guys externally shreve is the only one expected to make the major league roster uh, today but yeah uh yeah that's all i really have to say about this trade nothing uh, spectacular. This is actually a long video for one minor trade. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll probably update you on the next Cardinals move. See you then.